Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, how are you? Okay. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> I just wanted to be stupid and see what you would say. <laughs> Almost got out of the car. <laughs> okay, let's start over. You say hi. How about you intro the channel? Um, I thought you were doing it. You broke out the camera. You were you put me on the spot now. You're better at being like, what's going on, guys? I don't know. People don't really tend to like me. I, mean, I need a tripod. Oh like something that I can hold this like here. She doesn't. She Look at this. Dramatic. <laughs> okay. Well, this is the intro to the video of today. If you have never seen a video before, you might want to go watch one of our other more exciting videos of me eating spaghetti or something. But this is going to be a fun one in its own. Yeah. We have something that I've been really looking forward to for a while now. We are going to look at a wedding venue. Yay! Can we add in some like, yay? I don't know how to do that. I don't know if you can do that. Um, but we looked at two, right? Two. Yeah, so we looked at two different venues now. Yeah, that we didn't. Our third. Yeah, that we didn't love. Um, so this is our third, and I have a really good feeling about this place. I don't think I've really told you much about it, or sh no, I did show you some I know stuff, it's but not cheap. Uh, no, that's not true. Oh, right. I think. Well, that's something that we have to figure out as well if it's going to be in budget and whatnot. But I feel like we're going to be able to make it work, and I just have a good feeling about this place. Sorry if the camera's going everywhere. Um, if it costs but, more than a. V6 fourth gen Camaro, then it's expensive. <laughs> so um, anything over eight hundred dollars. Yeah, then it's gonna be expensive. <laughs> um, but we figured we'd take you guys along with us. I'll try and like. I don't know if I want to film much of the place because. I mean, it'll be a little weird. We'll be like on a tour, but you'll have to at least film some clips. Yeah, well, I do want to take some it. videos to like show to our parents and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, so I guess I'll film a little bit of the place, kind of give you guys a sneak peek, you let you know. A little bit. Yeah, let you know what we decide to do, if we like it, if we don't like it, if it's gonna be the place, if it's not gonna be the place. And that's really it. There's Cooper's big check from winning this past weekend. Yeah, I was hoping they would accept that at the wedding venue. <laughs> Here you go, this is all we have. There is a big check, so it's worth <laughs> more. <laughs> um. So that's pretty much the plan today. Look at the big orange truck. You see it? Yeah. Wow. It's not an orange they... truck. It is a truck that holds oranges. Not to be True. confused with a <laughs> truck that is orange. True. But these orange trucks, we were talking about it the other day, how they fill them up. Like you would think that they lose a lot of oranges probably. When... I feel like this is so bumpy. I'm so sorry guys if the camera is like going everywhere. I don't really know what to do about that. Um, can you feel the expensive in the air? <laughs> I can feel it. Can you feel it? I can, I can feel it flowing through me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty over here. So this is like the Longboat Key area, which is near like... Oh, look at that guy. Oh, he what? went down. Oh. oh, man. It's choppy out there, and that guy doesn't look like he's ever done that before. Uh -huh. It's his first time. He's trying something Bad new. Day to try it. It's a little choppy <laughs> out there. Yeah, maybe. Very windy. <laughs> Today might not be the best day. But look how pretty it is down here. I love this area. Cooper's not really a beach guy. We don't want to get married on the beach, but this place has something that I think will work for us and be really pretty at the same time. We got racetrack. <laughs> No. I don't, Cooper. I don't know. It made it sound like it was some sort of racetrack. Nope. That blue water is it's so pretty. It is very nice down here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Love hearing you say stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to pretend it's not. Yeah. Sort of. It's one of the highest property values in our area. Of this. <laughs> That's how I that's how I measure pretty. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh my god, we're here. There was a guard gate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, these palm trees. So pretty. <laughs> we're 
the car in the game. This is so cute. Oh my god. This reminds me of like home, like East Hampton. I'm walking around the grounds a little. It's so beautiful. Look at those waves too. I know. This is the gulf. The waves are never like that. Yeah, it's windy. It's actually not that windy, which is pretty crazy, crazy yeah. yeah, for how big the waves are, but we're a little early for our tour, so we just kind of walked around a little, but... I just drive so freaking, like, so perfectly that I beat the GPS. Oh, wow, so it's not perfectly. Speed, just very, very precisely. <laughs> I'm so excited. I, I really like it already. This feels like you're on vacation. <laughs> Alright, well it is the next day, but we're gonna go back. I'm gonna insert this probably before we do the doggo's birthday because we kind of forgot to talk about this yesterday. But we looked at the venue. Um, it was really, really nice. I literally took one video because <laughs> I was just so focused on like yeah. learning and stuff. I'll well, probably, you have a bunch of photos. So yeah, you might I'll be able insert to add those in. some photos if I can figure out how to do that. Um But yeah, what are, what are your thoughts? I mean thoughts? it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's without question. It was definitely on the more expensive side of a wedding. Yeah, which we don't have a huge budget to start with. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to not wanting to spend a lot of money. We don't have a big budget and we don't want to spend a lot of money just for yes. a one night thing. It's, of course, it's a really special day, but we're just not the type of person that's going to spend a lot of money on a wedding. But we do want something nice, and I do want it to be a special day. So we're kind of just figuring it out, keeping it in mind. They're going to send us some more stuff, and I do really like it. Like, I could see us getting married there, but it's just we're going to have to see if we could figure out, work it into our price. But what we wanted to ask you guys is if there's anything that you wish you did, wish you didn't do if you got married and kind of just give us some insight on what you guys think. Like, I know, I, um, I feel like I've heard people say like they wish they didn't spend that much money on that night or they wish they did this differently or this is something they did that was really special and they would do again. So let us know in the comments. Yeah, we'd love input. to hear from people about their wedding experiences and yeah. Even other weddings they've been to and stuff that were done either expensive or cheap or... Yeah. It's tough because, like, you know, the more stuff we take on, the higher stress we get into and the less we can focus on our day-to-day -day businesses and jobs... Yeah. ...to try to coordinate all these other things. Or you spend the extra money and you hand it off to somebody else and you don't deal with as much but you're spending more money yeah and this was one of those places where so i guess that's a good question too this was one of those places where it was pretty much like all inclusive like they do food the cake bar like you really only have to get a photographer a dj officiant and like one other thing so mm -hmm. if you guys did it that way was it better or would you have rather went to a cheap venue and did everything yourself like find the food the cake and whatnot i just i mean i think for us it would be really nice to just go to a place like the place we looked at yesterday because like cooper said they do most of it and with our jobs we don't really have time to do that so yeah i guess that's it yeah it's just it's kind of um it's a tough decision it's stressful yeah it's really stressful every time we start doing this and like looking at venues and we I feel like, like it like smacks down. us in the face. Yeah. And then we're just like, ugh. It's very so, discouraging too yeah. sometimes because you go and you start, you know, exploring all these options and then you're like, man, you start looking at the money that you'd be spending and you're like, man, our lives would be a lot better if we spent that money elsewhere yeah. instead of just one day at a wedding. Yeah. There's a lot that, but then I'm like, would we regret if we just took that money and put it into our house, our businesses, and you not might. have a big... I probably wouldn't. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, uh, I don't know. Because obviously everybody it. knows the wedding is for the bride. Yeah. And your in-laws. And your... Not your in-laws, your 
your family and no, your, your friends. in-laws yeah yeah just, I mean, just like all families. Yeah, everyone. Yeah. yeah. The wedding is mostly for other people. Like, I wonder if anyone out there, did you guys have a really small wedding and like use that money towards something? I just would like to hear more inputs and yeah. things that you guys wish you did or wish you didn't do. And you guys know I don't generally like people, so. <laughs> I, <laughs> Stop. That's the thing. Like, a bunch of people that I don't like eating food that I paid for isn't really exactly top of my list. <laughs> oh, if it could just be me, Bronte, and the dogs, you'd be happy. I'd be fine. Henry with the ring. <laughs> oh my god! Imagine if Henry to walk <laughs> down the aisle with the ring on his on his shell. I mean, he'd probably do it. It might be hard to get him up the aisle if he gets caught by a nice patch of grass or something. Oh he might be a little. God, that would be so funny. Jeez. All right. Yeah. So. Well, now we're gonna go into. Celebrating Millie and Jess's mm -hmm. first birthday. Definitely leave a comment. Yes. We're interested. Please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at all the birthday stuff. All right, so we just went to this place called Woof Gang Bakery to get the dog some stuff. We got the <laughs> These little birthday hats. That'll be a fun challenge. And then little goodie bags. We got each of them one of these and picked out some treats. And then of course had to get something for Luna as well. So we got her this little treat thing. I'm so excited to celebrate their birthday tomorrow. I can't believe they're gonna be one. But we'll I'll take videos of tomorrow when we give them their stuff and we had to get Luna stuff too, so she's not feeling left out. Yeah, obviously. We don't know how old but. she is. <laughs> I know, we don't know when Luna's birthday is. Cause <laughs> so what I was saying is that we don't really know when Luna's birthday is, so what do, what do we she do? She just kind of appeared one day. I know, but she- Chupacabra. I guess we'll just like celebrate it when Millie and just Jess has come around. They're yeah. all one years old <laughs> together. No, Luna's like three or four. She might be four this year. Um, but I, I'm getting emotional thinking about our babies being one. They're dogs. No, I'm just kidding. They're members of the family. We don't know Henry's birthday either. Can yeah. we just assume they're all the same day? We should have gotten something for Henry too. It was only dog stuff there. I looked. Oh yeah, true. You looked? Yeah, I looked. It's oh, my boy. I know. It's the only other guy in the house. I know. But I cannot believe they're going to be one had them for a year. It's crazy. They grow up so fast. It does happen quickly. Well, we've had Millie for a year. Yeah, just a little less. Yeah. I have like a very, I'm getting more emotional about Millie. I love them both to death, but like I raised Millie as a puppy. Like she is considered my firstborn. Like I didn't raise Luna. I didn't really raise Jess. Millie is like, yeah, has a special place in my heart. They That's all do, fair. but yeah. See, Millie just doesn't really care about anybody. Like, yeah, she now just she's very like, does independent. Her own thing. But Jess she's is like very... attached to people. Okay, wait, let's talk about the dog's personalities. So, Millie is very independent, but then again, like, if I'm sad or something or not having a good day, she'll do whatever it takes to make me feel better. Like, she's there for you. Yeah, you know, Jess she's. will pick up on that. Yeah, she's independent, but she'll be there for you if you need her. And then Jess is just like, loving and needy 24 7 just like wants to be near you and it's just she's just the cutest and then luna nighttime needy. gets very needy she's needy That's all the time yeah she's, she's not loving needy she's just like yeah. wants to be pet <laughs> yeah she just wants to be she luna's very like physical touch i guess you know like you could be like hi luna hi luna but she's like I don't care. I want like you to you be petting me. you sit down on a chair and she jumps into your lap. Yeah, like, but yeah, Luna's very needy and she she's super sweet too. Like, she gets super cuddly and Luna sleeps in bed with us, so she has that special connection with us. She sleeps by our feet, a little nugget, or sometimes she curls up in my legs. She's so cute. I love Luna. I love all of them. They're such good doggos. And Henry. And Henry. He is the lovable rock. That uh, travels throughout our yard all day. Yes, and Henry is so funny because he'll be in his house all day and we'll go outside and be playing with the dogs. And he comes out and he's like, hey guys, what are you doing? He like runs at you too. He's like, yeah. 
<laughs> like literally he gets so excited he's like oh everyone's out i need to come out and say hello and then he'll eat a whole head of lettuce and yeah. then fall asleep in his house so we got a really good little trio that we have going on with it's our a great animals. group yeah great group of animals mm -hmm. um but i'll film when we give them their treats and stuff tomorrow you guys will see the difference in their eating styles as well. <laughs> yeah. Jess has quite a way to get food into her stomach as quickly as possible. <laughs> Millie too sometimes. They're going to be excited. We're going to have to try really hard to get a photo. Yeah. It's going to be tough. It's going to be easy. We have to not let on that it's food too quickly. But I wanted to like, oh, it's not going to work. We're going to have to like hold a bone in front of like, in front of them that says happy birthday. With the thing on their head. You could hold one of the bones that says happy birthday. Yeah, with the thing yeah. on their head, yeah. But if you don't let on that Plan. it's food right away, they won't be trying to get it. Yeah. They won't know really quickly that it's food. Yeah. Okay. Plan. Yeah. Break. <laughs> All right, guys. It's these two's first birthday today. Millie just... Oh, well, Cooper just went out to get what we got them. Luna's here to celebrate, too. But they turn one today. It's their birthday. <laughs> Luna, shh. <gasps> cool, what we got we for them? We went to the bakery for you guys. Yes, we did. Luna, we got you something too, don't worry. Got the hats. Oh. Luna something so she doesn't feel too left out. Yeah, we got them. We got them each a bag. Of treats. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna try to give them a treat. <laughs> Don't give him the happy birthday one yet. No. Jess, you have your birthday out. <laughs> Luna, don't worry, we have stuff for you too. Sit. Hey, that's not sit. Sit down. Oh, give Luna one of hers. We're working on it, Luna. Only have two Luna, hands. Here. Don't take that into the other room. <laughs> in front of their ears for it to stay. I know it. Oh, birthday oh. girls. Oh, you hit your hat. You're one years old today. Dogs, come here. You got the little bones. Hey, Wait. sit. <laughs> Millie, sit. It's okay. Wanna hey, have yours? It's okay. You enjoying it? I think they really like these treats. Oh, oh, you shook your hat off. All right, let's go. Oh, <laughs> Millie, hey. That's it for their birthday celebration. These hats have slobber on them. You. Took, took the hats off. Just still looking for the rest of our treats. There's no more. I promise you ate it all. We have one more cup I can't believe each, our though, doggos are too. Later. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, we'll give it to you later after dinner. You guys got a lot of treats yeah, this morning. Yeah, you got a lot of candle. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, but our girls are one. Yay. Especially Happy birthday, Millie. One. Happy birthday, Jess. Come on inside. Let's go inside. Come on. Come on, Jess. She's like, where is more? I yes. smell it. Come yes. on. Hey, Jess, go. Come on. Go. Have more inside. No, no, no. Come on. Yes, come go. <laughs> she can't not. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> Two goldens, or one. 